This is the Kynes Crazy Horse Leather Wallet. It's a slim wallet. It looks like it has a ton of capacity, and it'll be interesting to see what you discover from this. Keep watching. Welcome to Wallatopia. Thanks for joining us. Now let's open up the Kynes Slim Wallet. Nice textured box. Let's see if we can get this open here. There we go. All right. Here is. Kinds Crazy Horse Leather Wallet. It's made out of crazy horse leather. Let's get some of these pieces out here. Nice promo card. Let's get a close look at this here. Tell it has wrapped edges here instead of burnishing or painting. It's a nice first look. Now let's take a look at the features of the Kynes Crazy Horse Brown Leather Slim Wallet. You can see what we have here. On the front uh, side, we have three slots. One, two, three, four cards. We also have another slot in here, which could be for additional cards or even cash, receipts, whatever it could be. If we move into the middle, we have what really is the slot for cash. And uh, this is deep enough that cash folded over once should fit nicely in here, and we'll see that in our test. On the back, we notice that uh, immediately we have a ID slot here, that's nice, as well as one additional slot here, and another card slot right behind it here. So this wallet has an enormous amount of, of opportunity for organization, and we'll see what it can do from a capacity perspective. That's the review of the features of the Kynes Crazy Horse Slim Wallet. Now let's move to the card and cash insertion test. As you can see, I placed 12 cards in there, and this was kind of pushing to be way too many. Uh, there are a lot of pockets on here, as you can see. I mean, really, there are just a lot of pockets and opportunities, which gives the impression it can hold a lot, but it can't hold many cards in each slot. And if this was full leather, I'd expect that it could stretch and comfortably accommodate the numbers I was putting in there. But if you look more closely at this, and I'll look at this from the top down here, you'll notice that in here, in all of these, we have the intersection of RFID fabric where we have leather and this RFID fabric in here and in all cases that just prevents us from getting good uh, good stretch from the leather on this. Five slips of cash fit easily in the inner pocket and the width of it makes it very nice to have that there. Uh, the company doesn't recommend any number of cards or, or cash so that's really up to you but as you can tell it was difficult to overload it with cards even though it looks like it can handle it. The leather is crazy horse leather which is Yahoo! not from a horse but is a popular horse saddle leather, which is generally the reason how it got, or acceptable reason it got its name. And because of that, that's why it's a very durable leather. The leather is full grain, which indicates it should wear well. The price is $15, and it's made in China. For that cost, that's perfectly acceptable, and hopefully everyone understands by now that products made in China can be high quality if the product owners really want them to be. So with that price, of course, you shouldn't expect this wallet to last a super long time. That should be an automatic expectation based on price. Now, there are reports that the seams begin to split on this over time uh, between the leather and the RFID material. Uh, there are other reports that it actually holds up rather well. So it really depends on, on uh, your view of this and what you expect from a $15 wallet. It's easy to use with many pockets in here, which provides a good organizational method, and, uh, but it's not really a capacity-driven wallet. The, card, or the wallet measures 4.25 inches by 3.1 inches by 2.25 inches thin, and this company makes many different makes and models uh, in very affordable uh, ways. And so, despite the low cost, don't be fooled about it being super low quality. That's not the case. Now, let's wrap up this with the final ratings. For quality, a 3, price of 5, 
features a 3, usability a 3, and perception a 3. That gives us a final score of 3.4 out of 5, or 34 out of 50. Thanks for joining us today. Please look at these videos, see if they're interesting to you. And if you have any other wallets you want us to review, please let us know. We'd be happy to do it. Thanks, bye.